check it out everybody because behind me is my brand new car yeah what's up so I think what we're gonna do today is I'm actually going to do the episode inside of the car let's do it what's up everybody so now I'm inside my car and we're gonna be doing the episode so uh, maybe can you even see me? Maybe it's a little dark in here. Um, is Indiana Jones gets a release date of July 10th, 2012. Oh, crap. A little bit more compact in here than I, than I originally thought. I don't know where to put this at. So, uh, Indiana Jones gets a release date of July 10th, 2012. Oh. And, uh, okay. I don't know. I don't think we have enough room to do this in here. So, yeah. Hmm. And we're back in the studio where we are going to be filming from now on. What are you doing here? I thought you were going to be filming in the car this week, so I thought I'd take advantage of the empty studio to get a jump on next week's news. It, you know it doesn't work like that, right? I mean, your news is going to be two weeks behind now instead of one week behind. This is called the Monday After Review, not the second Monday After Review. I mean, come on, who's really going to notice if the week, if the news is two weeks old instead of a week old? People notice, man. Like, this is exactly how fake news happens. Your fake news. First piece of news this week is... I got a brand new car! Oh yeah, what door did you take? I took the front door of the dealership, Dave, when I went and bought it. And it's awesome. That's pretty cool looking. I just wish I knew where you were getting all this money. Don't be a jelly donut. The fifth Indiana Jones film gets a release date of July 10th, 2020. And unfortunately, Chris Pratt will not be taking up the franchise like many of us wanted him to. As 74-year-old Harrison Ford will be back to star in Indiana Jones and the Get Off My Lawn Zipperhead. Why are you doing that? Because it's it's in the... you never seen that movie? Indiana Jones? Of course I've seen it. No, not Indiana Jones. Prison Break made a return last week after eight years of being off the air. Them Schofield brothers just can't seem to stay out of trouble. When asked Michael Schofield about what he was most looking forward to on this season, he said, not dropping the soap this time the whole way through. And of course, finally getting the chance to break El Chapo out. Last week, Activision made a big, 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 really big, world's biggest, greatest ever announcement. It's going to be huge. Call of Duty, World War II. No, that's, that's Battlefield 1. Can we please get Call of Duty, World War II. No, that's Brothers in Arms, guys. Come on. Can we please get... Call of Duty, World War II. All right, come on. This is saving private. Really, come on, guys. Really, are we are we really doing this? A anyway, I am so excited for Call of Duty World War II, guys. I cannot wait a week after the release to when it starts to look like this, and of course, a very authentic World War II era jetpack. It's gonna be awesome. For all you Fast and Furious fans out there, we've all heard about the beef between The Rock and Vin Diesel, when a few months back, The Rock said Vin Diesel was very unprofessional and I quote, a candy ass. Last week, in a press tour for the movie, Vin Diesel responded finally, saying that he could beat The Rock in a fist fight. I mean, Vin Diesel, are you crazy? Did you never smell what The Rock was cooking? Because he used to do this to people. And this. And this. Candy ass. But, to Vin Diesel's point, he did do this in the last Fast and Furious movie. See, the thing about street fights is the street always wins. And apparently, also Vin Diesel. Last week, Amazon announced a pretty interesting update that they are going to be releasing. So they're going to be making your Amazon Alexa sound more like a human being. 
See, this is just this is something that I don't get. So you have Google building a robot dog that can run and jump. You got Uber building robot cars that can apparently drive themselves around the city, and you got Russia building robot soldiers that are gonna be going to war soon. I mean, what is wrong with you people? Have none of you people ever seen the movie The Terminator? Have you ever heard of Skynet? I mean, it takes one of these things to think for itself, and the whole world goes to shit. I saw that movie. Give it five stars on Netflix. The sequel's pretty cool, too. That's great, Dave. All right, all right, all right, everybody. That has been this week's Monday After Review. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed what you saw. As for myself, I'm going to go drive my brand new car. And as for the rest of you, you can enjoy my brand new episode next week. No, they won't, because you're going to be in Texas. I know. All right. Have a nice day, everybody. And here's a video of a guy trying to do hardcore parkour. Video's hilarious. Thanks for watching all the way till the end, everybody. If you liked what you saw, please subscribe and like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash And if you didn't enjoy it, just subscribe anyway. It's free. Who cares?